Henry got arrested. Are you fucking No. Me? Whoa! everybody welcome back here to the channel welcome back to another video so if you guys have been following my channel for a while you would remember a guy by the name of Henry he had a white GT500 a 2007 had red stripes uh, we did a couple of videos on his car and then before that if you've been following my channel for even longer he's had a red Hellcat back when it had my GT500 my black GT500 and his Hellcat we took numerous trips down to Mexico quite often. So now he no longer has the GT500. I haven't found out yet exactly why he's on his way here. We're gonna talk about it. But he picked up another car, something completely, you wouldn't think someone would trade a Shelby for, but we're talking about Henry. He changes his car about as often as I change my underwear. So he's gonna be on his way here. We're gonna go check out his car. And uh, we might go take a road trip down to Mexico because it's twin turbo, so. Hopefully he'll be here soon. All right, you guys may remember this asshole. It's been a while since he's been on the channel. It's been a while since actually him and I have hung out. Life has been getting in the way and work and everything like that. So it's it's been a while, but Henry wanted to come by because uh, he wanted to show me something. He got a new car. Last time we had him on the channel, he had a white GT500, as I said. Now he got rid of that. He got rid of a supercharger for twin turbos. Might not be what you guys think. So let me show you. What do you went with? Now tell me a little bit about this. This Infinity what? Again. Q50 and it's closed. Okay. What the hell is this? It's my car. I feel like we're literally driving around in a vagina. I don't know anything about these cars. Twin turbo V6, I assume, right? Yeah. I mean, the interior looks uh, really That's nice. That's clean, though. Oh, it's that carbon fiber. Oh, dude, I like the stitching. Yeah. That's nice. nice. The only one carbon downside, fiber. we don't have a yeah. cooling seat. It doesn't have cooling seats? No, I'm You're sweating. gonna need those in Texas. I'm sweating balls, man. Yeah. Bunch of plastic. Ah, it's all covered by plastic. It's hot, you can feel the heat, eh? Yeah, see, all these new cars got these plastic covers. Like, even the Coyote, man, it had big old massive surfboard on there. So are the turbos, like, where are uh, they? Way on the oh, back. So it's on the back, okay. Uh, okay, so there's nothing uh, you can see. No, I had the catch can to it. It's clean, though, it's got, it's nice, I like, so it is, it is factory nice. lip, uh -huh. factory lip, that's nice. 350 bucks well spent, huh? So no more V8 Hellcat, so he went from a Hellcat to a Shelby. No, from the Hellcat I went to the Jeep. Well, I'm talking car-wise. He went from a, yeah, he went yeah. from the Hel Hellcat to a Jeep, but he went from a 7,800 horsepower Hellcat to a Shelby. Which one now was to this. 540? Yeah, so now to this. At least this one I can drive every day. Now are you gonna hang on to this now for probably like what a week or two, and then you're gonna get six, something else? Six months. Six months. Six months. <laughs> he changes his cars so often. The time it's I've had every six months. The time I've had the blue car, he's had what three, four cars? You know. had Shelby. You had the Shelby. You had the Jeep. You had yeah, so three, three cars. So we want to go take a trip down to Mexico, but before we do that, he wants to go for a ride in the Mustang. He wants to see what it the car feels like with E85. I know with the stock Coyote, I can probably keep up, but with the E85. I know I'm gonna, I know it's not really gonna be that close of a race, but I'm just, you know, just for fun. So he wants to go for a ride in the car just to see, because he, I haven't seen this guy since I got the E85 tune on the car. And uh, clearly since he got this car also as well. So we're gonna go for a ride in that car to just see what he, thinks about it because he was in the car when it was completely stock and then uh, we may or may not go go take a road trip back down across oh, we will, no the border what. so either way it's just for fun yeah. America all right Henry here likes road trips so we're gonna go across the border and uh, he wants before we go to take his car out he just wants to see if it's going to be comparable. We already did a kind of like a baby pull. No, baby uh, doesn't count. He's like, no, this isn't even going to be close. But, I mean, 
He chose. He chose to get something that's not Mustang. I'm huh? surprised it went with that car. It's four door. Yeah. It's family friendly. Like and I said, so was a Hellcat. Dodge. That's true. Yeah, that's true. So, uh, I mean, and I it's could half, fit, half of the price. Thing. It's tight, but I could fit all four of us back here. For now, give him another year or two. That's why we have the truck. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go and uh, do a couple rolls. You know, honestly, that's uh, tickled my nuts only a little bit. Just a little bit? Feel that, Alan? Huh? That tingling in your balls, big metal butterflies fluttering around your stomach? Are you sure you don't have testicular cancer? So we're gonna go back, we're gonna go get his car. No, 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 I'll we're get the pizza We're gonna go get the pizza for the kids, go back. Hold on, pizza for us, I want a pizza slice You too. can have pizza. You have pizza so it slows you down because it's gonna add extra weight that's fine. to I'm your car. Fine. Any advantage I can take, I'll take it. And then we'll head back to the house, pick up his car, and then I'll gap him. Look at this guy, eating fucking pizza. I was gonna drop that shit all over your Mustang. You turned that shit off. Already told him we're not eating this, and then he fucking eats. I swear to God, if you drop one, you you should one fucking piece. go on the, past this uh, red light. Let's this... drive like a fag. Look at this fat guy right here. Look at this. He's eating all that too. That's all him. No, no, no. All I don't know. him. All right. So give me an honest prediction on what you think is gonna take place here with your, I forgot what the hell it's called, Infinity what? Q50. Q50 stock with just, has exhaust and intercooler? Intercooler, okay. downpipes, yeah. And my Intake. 2022 GT Palm Beach Dyno tuned just on E85. I don't have anything special besides that in course of colder intake. I think I'm gonna give him the gap. What we're gonna do is do a 40 roll and then we'll do a 60 roll. But uh, I know I would, uh, I would have more chances from the dig. Yeah, see, I don't because uh, I don't have tires, so that's going to be a um, personal problem. It is a personal problem that I'm working on. Whoa! give him the hit on that one so I gave him the hit plus my car downshifted by itself so we're gonna probably do this one more time here to go anymore because it kind of seems like it's the same outcome every time I don't I don't know how many car lengths I'm getting them by but it's by at least two because I can see his entire car in my mirror and in the rear view also as well but uh I don't know he's probably getting heat soak right now want to go again
All right, so for everybody watching, I just kept it in drive and had it in drag mode. I know the most efficient way to go about this with a 10 or 80 is you put it in sport mode, and as soon as you go, you click it into drive. I know that's the most efficient way, but th honestly, there's no need to do that because I honestly didn't think it was going to be a close race. We're just doing this for fun. There's no need to take every advantage I can. My advantage is it's E85 and it's a Mustang. But besides that, people always tell me I gotta click it from sport into drive, and I, I know that, but sometimes it's just not necessary, because depending on who I'm going up against, and I'm just doing this for fun, I don't take it seriously. So we're gonna head back and we're gonna go chat and then I'm probably gonna go have a drink. My bet right now with Henry, I know you're watching this, Henry, is Henry's gonna get a tune he's going to do some kind of a tune or a boost controller right something um because it's when turbo i don't know anything about the infinities or anything like that how they're tuning the best thing to use for those but i'm willing to bet henry you're going to get some kind of tune or some kind something to uh wake that car up because uh you did that with the hellcat after we raced the hellcat when the hellcat was stock and uh yeah and I know you're like me and you can't keep any car stock. So that's my prediction. Good old 10 speed Coyote. Love this thing. That was not even close. So I was just saying after we did our last poll, I was like, how much do you want to bet Henry's going to go purchase a tune? He's gonna get like a boost controller or some kind of tune nah, for his car. There is no point dumping the money into this car. You can get a tune on this thing, right? Like, yeah, like even like can. a '93 tune, right? Yeah, but yeah, uh, the first, the first one I was like in fourth gear, I think, and then I did the others in third, I think. Uh -huh. I was in third gear because they're all forty year olds. I could have done a second gear, but I was like, it's not, it's pointless because why? And then uh, that one I gave you the hit on the one that I had you. You got in front of me because I just wanted to see how I would pull on you after I give you a hit. I mean, it's only uh, 400 horsepower stock, so. So, I want to get this thing on a dyno. I want to see, it's nothing special. It's just 85 Palm Beach with a Corsa colder intake, Corsa extreme exhaust with a double X pipe. But it's on 85, as I said. I just want to see what this thing will put down on a dyno before I do anything else. Headers, uh, if I go with a pro charger or a whipple or if i decide to go turbo or a single i just want to see what the car does standing now because i haven't had on a dyno so henry got arrested are you fucking no kidding? okay <laughs> oh my god so i just walked in there i was like oh my god henry just got arrested she had the most panic stricken look on her face why because we went to mexico why would i, <laughs> I was like oh my god are you serious <laughs> That's so funny. You would get arrested. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna close this one out. We just got done cross street playing football. That's why this man is all sweaty. Because I play some football. But uh, that's it on the bench. I give it probably six months or so until he gets another car because he he switches his cars out about Maybe every less. six months. Maybe less. 400 horsepower is not enough. You could get a tune on it. You could do some things, but uh, I think he's gonna want to get back into a, a Mustang. Uh, but. He says if you did, probably 15 to 17 of Gen 2. Uh-huh, boost that. If he wants to hit the one that already has boost, so if that's the case, I need to get spraying this thing here soon, so. But on that note, I'm gonna go ahead and close this one out. If you guys are watching and you're not subscribed, please do me a favor, hit subscribe, drop a like, and a comment. And as always, next video, we will see you at Fuel Fest. Fuel Fest is next weekend at Texas Motor Speedway. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit subscribe. And uh, we'll catch you guys at the next one. See ya.